accidentally stuck one dry page to a wet page. I need to hang them up properly. I've been lazy and just been spreading them out on the table. That's nice. Can you see? <laughs> it's a bit dark, but I still like it. I think it's nice when you can't make out the pattern completely. You can only see bits and pieces of it interspersed with other patterns and colours. Makes the, um, the print more interesting. Wrong baby. Wipe that stamp off. Alright, I'm going to hang a few things up so they can dry properly. Oh, it's getting darker, isn't it, Bandit? What do you think? You come for a pat? Or are you going to get back on your bed? What are you doing? Are you going to sniff the paint? You know what I'm really tempted to do, <laughs> except I won't because I don't know how toxic paint is for dogs, but I would love to get Bandit's paw print on here. I think that would look really good. And it would be a, um, a nice keepsake to have a print of his paw. I don't know if I'm... Whoops! game enough to try it though. Let's pick up the little last bits of that. Good boy. I don't want to get paint on your pore if it's not good for you. Um, let's try this little one in that tiny bit of Leftover paint. No, it's too dry. Alright, I have to try that. The paint is probably wet. <laughs> Will that work? Oh no, you can see it there now. Slightly. That's funny. Alright, let's just pick this up. Try that one again with some more paint. What do you think, Bandit? Oh, yuck. That's good. I feel really good though because I'm using these paints up rather than them going to complete waste. Before I started doing this arty adventure. <laughs> um, I had no idea that paint, you know, got old and went stale and became no good anymore. I just assumed that paint lasted forever. <laughs> There's a lot of things I didn't know that I have since learnt. start learning from somewhere, don't we? Yeah, this, this one's not bad. It's a little bit fancy schmancy. starting to cough. Yeah. You see that? Where's the thing? <laughs> yep, so I just went down the edge. To fill in the white bits. 
Now, I need a space to pick this one up. I don't think I want to start a whole new page because I'm just going to end up doing this forever if I keep <laughs> starting new pages to pick up things. <laughs> what else can I do? Let's put it over the top of this. Why not? Oh, we've got a few raindrops on the window. That's good. There we go. And this page is really grungy. A lot of grungy colours together. Everything's alright with me. <laughs> I like everything. I don't know what happened here. I think I pressed too hard with something. And I've got little cracks with paint in it. But, as long as it still works, it's okay. Yes, someone is cutting the grass out there. Let's just wipe the brayer on this edge. Oops, shaking the table. Okay, I'm just going to, I've got a few pages with blanks and then I want to fill in the edges and then I'll be done. <coughs> I've still got these paints I want to use. So yeah, Let's see what else I can do on here. I have noticed that this little mark there is coming out in the paint patterns. So um Unfortunately, it's a bit damaged, and I don't know if I can remelt this plate now because there's paint in it, it might get ruined. Anyway, I'll figure it out, I suppose. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's some really yucky lumpy bits in this really does need to be used up what's that funny there what else can I make some marks with I like this one I did a bit of that before I might try that <coughs> And oops, I'll stick some around the edges of some pages. It's a very windy, horribly blustery day today. I've just had my visitor Judy come. And she's gone now. And I just thought I might do a bit of this before I go and have a nap because I'm pretty tired today. But I can't resist doing a bit of arting. <laughs> Got to at least get a bit in. I haven't had much time to do much lately. I've been really busy. I've had a lot of visitors and um, I've had, you know, household things to get done and catch up on, shopping to organise, so I 
don't have as much time for arting and crafting. <clears throat> so I have to grab a few minutes here and there when I can. Oops! I think most of us are like that, aren't we? Just do what you can when you can. Be nice to be able to just sit there and play all day, every day, and not have anything else to do. <laughs> that would be heaven. All right, I'll pick that up on this side. Oh, look, I've got paint on my hand already. There's that. bad. Try and get the edges. I did want to go out for a walk today. When I woke up the sun was shining and it looked like a nice day and then the wind came up and that wind is freezing cold so there was no way we were going out there today. We just sat and chatted and had coffee here at home. Oops. Just accidentally stuck that on another page. It doesn't matter. I wipe my hand. <clears throat> Yeah. Monday was a beautiful day. It was really warm. It felt like spring. So I um, Bandit and I had a couple of hours outside. I potted around and did a bit of gardening. And Bandit lay on a cushion in the sun. He loved it. He loves lying in the sun. Which is good. I'm sure it's good for him. A bit of winter sun, it's nice and warming without being damaging. And I just went around the edge with that. A little bit. Still got some more on here. like UD, D is from Betsy Doodle on YouTube. She doesn't like having white edges on her prints. I think I'm the same. I think they look nicer if you fill the whole page with paint as much as you can anyway. Last little bit. There we go. Try something else. <clears throat> Try a bit of red. Actually, I want the darker red. Ooh, probably too much. It's a really nice, rich colour. Of days since I 
noticed that the plum tree had a few buds and now these buds are starting to open it's fantastic so excited for spring totally over winter so I did that printed that these um, funny shapes I got from a stencil. <clears throat> yeah the problem with spring is that it's always very windy. So I'd say our spring has come early this year because we've got the windy weather, we've got the birds come back, we've got Blossoms starting to open. That says spring to me. Yay! Really looking forward to some nice warm weather where I can stay outside. I'd like to be able to set up a table outside and do a bit of arting out there except that um, when it's windy it blows everything everywhere and it blows dust and grit onto whatever you're doing so that wouldn't be too good. If I can get some calm warm days no wind, that'd be fabulous. There we go, just a little bordery thing on there. Now I'll pick this up. Oops. Oh no. It's stuck to something else. Do this one. Hmm. Not too bad. Hmm, got a bit of orange lumpy bit stuck there. Bandit. He's been coughing a fair bit this morning, poor thing. <laughs> Sounds awful. Are you right, Bandit? Hmm, it's looking around. set the clothes thing up with the peg so I don't have much room now to put things. <clears throat> oh messy hands. <laughs> How will I survive? Just ignore it. Get over it. You'll live. <laughs> it's not gonna kill you. Just relax. <laughs> what I'm telling myself. There's only tiny bits left on here now. Might as well try and pick up what I can. Press 
a little stampy thing down. I'm going to try and find something else to use. What happened to my try? This one. It's a square. It's a little star. grassy looking. Alright, I had to change the batteries and then I set this up again it all looked different and you could see the frame of the tripod so hopefully that's alright how it is now. I can never seem to get it back in exactly the same position as it was before. this funny grass looking one. Yeah, it works. Mm, no. <laughs> it's working on the jelly plate making an imprint but when I press it down on something it's not coming off. Tiny patches of it, but that's okay. Ooh. Maybe I'll just do all of this and not bother about stamping it off on something else. Till now. <coughs> oh, sorry, wobbly table. Okay, let's try. Mm. It's okay. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. I guess. Interesting bit of colour and texture on the edge. Do some down the bottom. Now, maybe a little smidge here. That'll do. wind. It's getting worse. Very, very blustery. sun out though. The sun's shining and there's a fair few clouds but 
any little bit of sunshine is most welcome. It just makes you feel more cheerful and interested in doing things when the sun is out, even if it's really cold. I think it must be awful to live in those areas where you don't get sunlight for like six months of the year. Oh, that'd be horrible. I wonder how people's levels of vitamin D go in those areas. I would imagine they'd be pretty low. Let's get that little bit. of colours over the top of other colours. <laughs> Use some more of this. star in the corner there. A dotty, dotty star. What are you doing, Bandit? No, your bed's over here. There you go. Good boy. Come on. I think he's wanting me to sit down on the couch again. Snuggle with him. <laughs> well, I'm standing up at the moment and he's a bit confused. Because I don't have one of my hands on him. Yeah, we just did that round the border. Um, I need something else. I separated the. I've got quite a lot of prints, and I separated them into those that need extra. There we are. That's better. This one. Let's do the edge. You're up, Andrew. Let's pick up the star pattern. Mm. No, you can't see it that well. A little bit. Restless, what's wrong? I wish you could tell me. I'll try and get every little bit off. Pages on the back of the couch. <laughs> Next. 
is such a long process but I'd be so glad when I've got these done because then I can use them I'm thinking to um, make some little booklets with the painted pages that'll be a bit of fun That's really at the end. I might just do this half. Let's have some of these little whatever they are. <laughs> Funny shapes. magenta it's really nice and it goes really well with that green as well viridian which is one of my favorite colors filthy might be worth a try try and get a bit of pattern on here Too 
right now. It's done. Done. I thought there was some in there. Oh well. Or maybe if I put some water. Spray a bit of water in here. Mm. A bit in the lid. Just pull that out. With my finger. Yuck. That feel. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Feels yucky. wash my hand. Paint stained my fingernail. But that's okay. I'll leave. Ooh, look how thick and sticky and patchy this is. Definitely very old. Oh. Yuck. Let's do some edging. again already. Doesn't take long. Hmm. That looks good I think. Very grungy. I've got that dark colour by mixing the blue and the red together. It didn't make a very nice purple at all. But it's alright. Yeah, it's good, I like that. Somewhere to put it. It's difficult. Alright, I think that paint's done now. And I'm going to re-wet a baby wipe and clean my fingers. Didn't think of that before, to go into the kitchen, to the sink. Mm, blue really stains. my leg. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pat pat. Good boy. Oh. oh, careful. Don't fall over. Are you feeling a little bit lonely? Poor baby. I'm ignoring him. He's not happy. 
That's what likes to be ignored. <laughs> Wants cuddles all the time, don't you? He's a very cuddly boy. Yeah, good boy. I'll pet you with one hand. Oh no. Oh, don't cough. Oh, you poor sweet boy. Let's try bright red. My poor sweet boy. There you go. I'm scratching your ears while I do this. And be dexterous. Do two things at once. Now I have to use two hands. Sorry, Brendan. Yes, good boy. I'm still here. Bendito. Hmm? Do you want to go out? I think he wants to go out. Back in the sack. Okay, so I finished now and I've got lots of prints that I've done, so I'll just do a really quick flip through of what I've got otherwise it'll take ages <laughs> I love ones that have lots of colors on them some of these are um, just wipe off pages that I still really like some of them I've gone a bit berserk and probably put too much <laughs> stuff on them But I had heaps of fun doing this. Really enjoyed it. So I'm going to want to do it again soon, I think. Ooh, some of them are slightly sticky. This is a wipe off page. So yeah, I'm happy with the way they turned out. And I'll be able to use them in lots of different projects. Yeah, a little bit sticky. I had trouble with a couple that I had to really gently pull apart. I would use some talcum powder like um, Dee from Betsy Doodle does, but I don't have any talcum powder at the moment. I think I'll have to get some. love this. I think that looks great. <laughs> All mixed up. Oops. Oh, don't stick, don't stick. So it's that one with the bubble wrap. A few of the stencils didn't turn out that well, but I don't mind. I still think it looks nice. I'm happy with my duck. <laughs> I think the duck looks good. I 
love these colors together the um, viridian magenta and purple I think they look fantastic that was the plate that I tried to do it worked okay but not as well as I was hoping Oops. <clears throat> there was a bit of a blob in the center and it's made a mark but it looks a little bit like a handprint <laughs> like a little person's handprint that was funny love that colors it goes so well together I think nice bubble wrap effect love this stencil because you got the dendritic pattern in each of the little shapes and then the reverse side makes a really lovely pattern as well it's an awesome stencil made by Melinda from scrapbooking and craft that's her website that's really nice too I like the colors that one's a bit grungy <clears throat> I didn't do too badly considering I had limited colors love this one I think that looks good love this one I love how I did different layers of color and um, they just came through so beautifully so I've still got paint left so I'm going to have to find other ways to use the rest of it which is fine sure I'll come up with something and if I don't I'll just do more jelly printing here's another one of those plates I tried that didn't really work <clears throat> I've got heaps <laughs> I couldn't stop that one's a bit dark dark and grungy feathers more of that stencil just a wipe off yucky page <laughs> oops orange flowers oops I can't pick that up now come apart wipe off page front and back that's it I've got a couple of others but they're still drying they're not that great either so won't worry I also got some really nice um, colored baby wipes out of it by using the mopping up the excess paint some of them can probably have a bit more added to them but I like the full colors so I'm thinking I'll probably make flowers as I've seen other people do <coughs> with these hope you're seeing that alright I didn't check the viewfinder it's just two different greeny ones and also I did a couple of um, that one's not so great but um, paper towels just picked up the excess paint and I've started a notepad I'm just um, 
grabbing the excess paint that was left on the jelly plate. Just thought that would be nice to have a little notepad for the coloured papers. Oops, if they don't stick together. I didn't leave that to dry long enough. And that's it so far. So, that's it. That's my number three of the what's it called <laughs> hashtag 100 things challenge so I'm slowly plodding along it will take me a long time to get to 100 but it'll be good and I'm creating things which is fabulous so I'm gonna go now thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed it bye